Hello everyone, just quickly whisking through chapter 15 because uh, Olivia thought it might be useful. Ubi Quintus et Horatia. When Quintus and Horatia are returning home, Aludo, ablative there, from their school, um, Flaccus, and Flaccus from his, again, ablative from his field, Omnes, everyone, all are resting. Omnes, plural, all, quiescunt, are resting. Soon Quintus said, Father, Civis, if you wish, nara, imperative, tell a story, dative, nobis, to us. Ile, change of subject. He responds, quam fabulam, what story, cupis, do you wish to hear? Audire, the infinitive there. Quintus said, um, sorry, tell me a story. Sorry, I'm just changing, getting rid of all of the, uh, all the marks. What story do you want to hear? Vocative, Quintus. Quintus said, if you are willing, is that right? Quintus said, no, fabula mihi nara, tell, again, imperative, tell a story to me about, followed by the ablative, Kinkinata's father. He said, you have heard, you'll now know that that's the perfect tense, you have heard often ilam fabulam, demonstrative pronoun, accusative, that story. Quintus, but if you cupis, like Cupid, the god of wanting and desire. But if you want to hear it again, ego volo, I am willing, narare, infinitive, to tell am, pronoun it. Cincinnatus is a weir fortis, is a strong man, is a brave man, and experienced peritus militiae, and experienced in war. Said pauper, but poor. Ipse colit, he ipse, pronoun, he himself takes care of his agrum, of his farm, of his field, rather, his field, trans Tiberum across the Tiber. Illo tempore, at that time, Rome, Roma urbs parva est, Rome is a small city. It is always semper gerit, carrying out bella, war, with many enemies, cum multis hostibus. Quondam, once they lead the enemies, lead their army. Once, hostes, the enemies, ducunt, lead their exercitum, their army, into the Romanus fines, into the Roman territory. And they castra ponunt, and they set up camp, haud, not far from the ablative, moinibus, from the walls, genitive of the city. A Roman consul, um, an inexperienced man, and Timidus and timid, Educit leads out the legions, and he temptat tries to reperere, to repel the hostes, the enemies. Third declension now, es can be either nominative or accusative. He tries to fight off the enemies. Castra upon it, he sets up camp in the hills. Um, I can't even see at the end of that word, but oh, here we go. No, um, sets up camp in the hills, and he, um, let's see. But he fears, I'm not sure what that last word is of the sentence, I'm sorry, I can't see it. Said, but he fears um, to attack, oh, no, I'm not too sure. Um, oh, prope, nearby the enemy. He sets up, it's going to be prope, I think. He sets up camp in the hills, nearby prope, hostes, nearby the enemies, but timet, he fears, eos opugnare, but he fears to attack them, the infinitive therefore, opugnare. Ili, they, change of subject, Quickly circumvenient, quickly surround the Roman camp. Remember, castra is singular. They quickly surround the Roman camp, and they obsident and they besiege the army. Ubi, when the citizens, haec cognoscunt, learn these things, they are all very frightened. Ad curiam, convenient. They gather at the curia. The curiam was the senate house, accused of there, because it follows ad. They gather at the senate house, and they order the fathers, the senators, Sevare, the infinitive, to save the city. They shout, the city is in great danger. Save the city, your fathers. Hostes repelite, another imperative. Drive back the enemies. The consul says to his fathers, to the fathers, to the senators, what ought we, quid debemus, what ought, what ought we to do, our fathers? Quomodo, how are we possumus able to save the city? The senators respond, Cincinnatus solus. Cincinnatus alone is able to save us. For he is experienced in military, and he is a brave man, who loves his fatherland, quiamat patriam, who loves the fatherland, and he always, semper, conquers, hostes, the enemies. We ought, debemus, creare, to make, to appoint, eum, him as dictatorem, as dictator. If you remember at this stage, 
Rome was a republic governed by the senators, the patres, but it was governed by the senators, and the senators would have the two consuls. So here, it's a story, I suppose, of uh, this very famous Roman hero upon whom George Washington was later branded by the, um, by the Americans as being a new kinkin artist. This man who had power, took power, was loyal, but then was willing to give it up. It's that very Roman quality of being willing to place the state before yourself. Anyway, I digress. Kinkinatum. Call for Kinkinatus to the city immediately. Itaque. And so they send the, um, sorry, the senators, patres, send messengers to Kinkinatus. They, Festinat, hurry across the Tiber, and soon they find Kinkinatus, who is working on his own suo, agro, suo, green with agro, who's working on his own farm. The messengers go up to him, and they say, Kinkinatus, the senators order you to come immediately to the Senate. Ile, he is astonished, but he non potest, but he is not able to refuse, new to plural, imperea, the orders of the senators. He hurries home, selawet, he washes himself, and he orders his wife to bring out his toga. Then, having put on his toga, festinat, he hurries with the messengers to the senate. When he arrives at the city, um, obiciam a veniunt, the patres, the senators, come to meet him, obviam, I think they mean rather than obciam here, the senators come to meet him, and they lead him into the Senate. Ibi, there he say, they say, you alone are potes able to save Urbem, the city, accusative, Itaque, and so we are making you dictatorem dictator. Exercitum, lead exercitum, the army in hostes against the enemies, and servo, imperative, save nostram, possessive personal pronoun, and save our city from Ablative magno periculo, from great danger. Very well done, everyone.